So I just updated Premiere Pro to the new 14.2 version that includes support for hardware accelerated H.264 and HEVC encoding. So I guess the real question is what improves and by how much? First of all, I already have an Nvidia graphics card so that was an extreme bonus. And second, it's obviously really easy to update Premiere Pro. You just go to Adobe Creative Cloud, find your apps and click update. It only took about five to 10 minutes and I was good to go. And just a side note, when I opened my project again for the first time after the update, Premiere Pro had to re-decode my footage just like I imported it again before I could even watch it or do anything to my timeline. So the things that I wanted to check out were basically scrubbing slash playback, rendering speed, and then obviously exporting. And obviously to take advantage of those things, just like before, make sure when you open up a new project, in your renderer, you select Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA and not Mercury Playback Engine Software Only. And then also make sure you go up to Edit, Preferences, and then go down to Media, and then just make sure that in Media, this is checked off. Enable Hardware Accelerated Encoding and Decoding. And when we're talking about hardware encoding, there's only certain things in Premiere Pro that can be GPU accelerated. And the way that you can tell is if it has this little folder icon thing right here. So for example, if I go into stylize and I put mosaic onto my adjustment layer, then it will be GPU accelerated because it has this little folder. But if I put brush strokes on there, then GPU acceleration will not be a factor. Okay, so now the big things. First, I'll just talk about scrubbing and playback on my timeline. I honestly didn't see too much of a difference at all which is kind of what I was expecting. As far as rendering in my tests, it was about 15 to 20% faster, which because it already had GPU acceleration before the update, I'm not sure if this is just an anomaly with this project or if that's an actual thing that's gonna be faster as well. And then finally, the big one is exporting. So for me, it was actually two and a half times faster. On this 4K sequence, I have an adjustment layer that has a crop on it and a light image grade some graphics, titles, nothing big, just a kind of a basic edit. And my export time before the update using software only was one minute and 15 seconds. But after the update using hardware encoding, my time dropped to 29 seconds, which is actually less than the total time of the video. To take advantage of hardware encoding on your export, the only thing that you have to do is in your video, basic video settings, just scroll down here to encoding settings and change performance from software encoding to hardware encoding. Prior to the update, when you were trying to export H.264 or HEVC files, this performance only allowed you to select software encoding and everything else was grayed out kind of like this. So besides the obvious difference of one having software encoding and the other having hardware encoding, I kept everything else for the export the same. I checked off render at maximum depth. I had VBR one pass for both and I checked use maximum render quality for both. The only difference was with the update when you're using hardware encoding you now only have the ability to change target bitrate. Plus, if you choose VBR2 pass, you actually lose the ability to choose hardware encoding. It switches automatically to software encoding. So if I try and switch back, my system's hardware does not support hardware acceleration for the current settings. So it does not, VBR2 pass does not support hardware encoding. As far as file size goes, there wasn't too much of a difference. The hardware encoded export was just a little bit larger, maybe like 5% larger, but it's nothing you should be concerned about. And then just for fun, I wanted to see if there was any improved performance if I still selected software encoding after I did the update. And what was interesting is that it did slightly improve. It, that original one minute and 15 second export time was now one minute and 12 seconds. So a minor, minor improvement. I don't know what that is, but that's what happened. When I exported at VBR two pass, it took two minutes and 24 seconds. So technically it should have taken two minutes and 30 seconds, double the one minute and 15 seconds originally, but I did see some improvements. Maybe it's because of the updated way Premiere decodes your footage when it brings it into the project. I don't know. So that's my quick rundown of the new 14.2 version of Adobe Premiere Pro. 
If you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.